good. I truly believe that at this point we have covered enough to create our first mini project. And I'm gonna head over to Google just to show you what we're gonna be doing. And we're gonna say Amazon best selling and not just something, but we're gonna go with the books. The moment we're gonna search for it, obviously, there's gonna be some kind of link. Don't worry, I'm not gonna force you to buy anything. We're just checking how they're doing this. So let's say that there's gonna be tons of books. And then what does the book have? Well, the book has the cover, some kind of photo, then there's gonna be name. And let's say there's also gonna be an author. So why don't we recreate this with all the knowledge that we have right now? Of course, we're not going to be able to recreate the whole thing. But let's say I like this book, the wonky donkey. And yes, I picked it because I like the name. And then let's just recreate this little one component. And then let's see how react makes it very easy for us to recreate the whole list, even if we wanted to. Okay, where are we going from here? First, probably I would want to change some things around here. And let's say that the function is not going to be greeting. And I would like to change the name. I will purposely keep one uh, function here as the ES five way. And then the rest of them we're going to write as arrow functions. Uh, if you would like to select two cursors, the shortcut would be pressing, I believe it was alt. So option. So we're pressing the option key and then clicking it on both of them. So let's say one greeting and the second greeting. And I would like to delete it. And we're just going to write books. So this is going to be my main component that's going to get rendered. Okay, where are we going from here? For now, let's just do some kind of return within a section where we're just going to say my content is going to go here. So my content is going to be here. Obviously, at the moment, that's the only thing that's going to get rendered with this paragraph. Okay, what else we have? We have person and the message. We can get rid of these suckers because we're going to be creating a new one. And now let's create probably a book, which is going to be the component that you can think of. Let's say each and every book, the information about this book would be this component. And we're going to call this very generic. We're going to say that there is going to be a book. And we're going to name, obviously, our function component by the name of book. Then we know that we can use the arrow function. And for now, let's just say that we were going to be returning something. And by the way, there is a couple of ways how we can do the returns. And one of them would be using this curly braces. But then we explicitly need to write our return. So again, just so we can look at different syntaxes for the book, I'm going to keep this curly braces. And then we're going to write the return. Just understand that this is going to mean exactly the same thing as we're going to be using different components where we're not using this, where we're just using the implicit return. And let's say here for now, there is just going to be a one heading one. And we're going to write, I don't know, uh, this is a book. This is a book. So let me save it. And before we do anything more, let's say add more information to this book. Let's just see how nice it is with react, how we can recreate this component. So what do I mean by this? Well, we know that we can nest components. We know I can nest this book within my books component. And here I can just say like this, I would want a book. So the book is going to be rendered. And now I'm obviously getting my heading one. However, what React allows me to do, do you want one book? Okay, you can have one book. You want two? You can have two. Copy and paste it. We can have three. We can have 5,369. We can have 1 million books. It doesn't really matter. What we can do is we can create this one component and then just go wild since we're rendering the books component but then we can add as many as components we would like over here, even though they are would be exactly the same. Granted, we haven't covered the props, we haven't covered how we can pass this different kind of information and all that. But the main idea would be very simple, where we can get really creative with this react idea of components. Okay, obviously, at the moment, you're looking at you're like thinking, okay, this guy's crazy. Only thing he's doing is just rendering the heading once. So why don't we make this interesting? So again, what we had, we had a image. So why don't we create a separate component? And as a side note, yes, we could write everything here within the book. At the moment, I'm going really crazy that for everything that's going to be with the book, I'm going to be recreating as a separate component. And in normal, you probably are not going to do that. So normally, what you'll do is you're just going to set up here the image, the title and author, and you're just going to be rendering this by changing the information. 
how or I just want to show you how we can really nest components. Are you going to do that normally? No, because it's tiresome. You don't want to repeat yourself so many times. But just for testing purposes, we will going to do this in this video. So I'm going to say cover image. That's going to be my name. And like I said, this is going to be my arrow function. And then here, instead of just an explicit return, we're going to be doing the implicit return. Now, the way the implicit uh, return works, we're just going to write what kind of element we're going to be returning. Since I would want the image, let's head over back. And I don't want to get the image to our project yet. We will going to look at that later on anyway. But for now, we're going to do very simply. We're going to say I'm going to copy images address. And this is going to work exactly like we have worked already with an HTML before anyway. Also, I'm going to say that this is the name by the one key donkey. That was obviously the name. So in the alt, we're also going to write that one key donkey. And since I would don't want that image to be too big, and you know what, let's maybe test that out first. So we're going to have the cover image. And what I would like to do right now, since here I have the section, and again, this is just HTML semantics. And if you don't want to do that, you can just write divs or react fragments. But I'm going to say instead, I'm going to be returning the article. And let me make sure that I'm having this as an HTML tag. And then within the article, let's start returning our components. So we're going to say cover image was the name of our component. And now what happens? Well, we have the massive image. So far, so good. But I would like to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to say, you know what, for this guy, this is just, again, HTML attributes, nothing really react specific, where I'm just going to say that this would be the width of 200, 200 pixels. But obviously that I don't think I'm writing this properly. Because let me set it up. And you know, what? 200 pixels maybe is too generous for this guy. Or you know what, it's what's happening is that I have zoomed in with my uh, browser, just so you can see it better. In fact, you can see that I'm actually having this at 400%. So why don't we have it at normally 200% like I would have anyway, and then 200. So this is sometimes going to be confusing because I do want you to see everything that's happening in a browser. That's the reason why I'm zooming in. So I think the width is fine. I just got confused for a second. Okay, we have the cover image. What's next? We have also what the title, as well as the author. So again, let's create our two components. And maybe let's get this one down a little bit just so we can see what's happening. And then we're going to say const. The name is going to be title. And then this is going to be, again, my component, which is going to be the fat arrow function. And then I'm just going to say the name, obviously, of the book is going to be the wonky donkey. Okay, wonky, wonky. Yeah, hopefully that is going to be correct. And as you can see, typing and talking is not my strong suit. So I'm going to say wonky donkey. That is going to be our title, but it's not being rendered because we haven't passed it to our book component. So why don't we do that? I'm going to say here title. That's going to be title of that's being rendered as well as, you know what? Let's finish off strong by, again, copying, pasting. And let's create this one as an author. And that would be our component. And then I would like to change the headings. And by the way, if you want to select uh, the shortcut for both tags, in the Visual Studio Code, you need to press Command D. So I'm selecting this heading one, I'm pressing the Command D, and now I'm selecting two of them. So at the moment, I have both heading ones, and I can just change them first of all to the paragraph. So that's going to be good enough. And then I'm going to be looking for changing this text, and I'm going to navigate to the end of the text. And you know what? No, this is still going to be give me two components. That, so that's not what I want. I'm sorry, two cursors. I'm just going to delete the text first of all. So it's not going to be wonky donkey. We're going to say by Craig and Smith. So that's going to be the name of our component. And again, we still need to render it because we cannot see it right now. So let me copy and paste it. We see that we have the author. So author is working. And then we're looking here for this title. And the title is going to be author. And successfully, we have created our book component. And again, we can do the same thing like we did already before. Granted, later on, we're going to look at other methods, how we can use JavaScript, so we don't have to copy and paste this manually. This would be probably a quick and dirty way doing something like this, where we have a bunch of components that do exactly like we would want to do. And if we want to head over back to our uh, big browser, because I would want to show you this, how this looks on a big browser, 
again, we just need to look for the separate browser window for our local host 3000 because this is going to be our component. And if you want 77,000 wonky donkey book covers, you can get them and everything is going to be working fine. So hopefully you're starting to see how powerful react is, even though we just have covered literally basics, we haven't covered any of the sophisticated things that react offers. But in my opinion, this is really cool where we can just re recreate stuff and everything looks really good.